Hey guys, uh, today I'll be doing an installation of a 58 Honeywell 5800 Mini uh, wireless door window contact. It's a new, uh, just recently uh, released contact that Honeywell has released or made. And we're going to be doing, uh, I'm going to be setting it up on a window today. And I'll show you how to set it up and program it into your system. This system we'll be installing or uh, programming it to is the Honeywell Lynx Touch, but it will be compatible with the Honeywell Vista and the Honeywell Lyric systems, as well as the Lynx Touch and Lynx Plus. So, it, when, you, when you unbox it, it'll come open like this. There's the contact. And inside, it'll have a magnet and a battery, a CR232 uh, battery, which you can replace if necessary. We're gonna snap this battery in, positive side up. And as you can see, some lights are gonna be emitting. That's the sensor transmitting. And just snap the cover on, it doesn't matter which way. Snap right in and take your magnet. You'll be needing this for the installation. Now, from the home screen, you're going to hit more, tools, and then enter the installer code. By default, it's 4112. Then you want to hit program. And you want to hit um, zones. Scroll down until your next available new zone, which in this case is zone 22. Hit 22 and then hit add new. Now the first thing we want to install it program is the serial number. Now the serial number is what the system communicates with the sensor. So when the sensor transmits, it the panel no, no, sees it. So on serial number, you can manually type it in, but the what I prefer to do, so you do this right, is activate the sensor. So what you're gonna to want to do is look, it's gonna um uh, display it and the loop number, which is loop one. Put it back together. It automatically learns it in and confirms it. Now, next thing you want to do is um, uh, uh, zone description. Now, the nice thing about the link touch is you can um, customize zone description. So, if this is like a back door or a kitchen window, in this case, you're installing it on our kitchen window. So, you want to press K. Kitchen. And the first uh, word that comes up is kitchen. All right, that's good. And then you could, if you had two windows, you could do kitchen left or kitchen right. In this case, we're just do, we just have one window to protect. So the nice thing is device type. We want to hit window, and by default, it does it, the zone type is perimeter. You want to keep it perimeter because you're not going to enter your house um, through a window, so you wouldn't need to program it as entry exit one. You could just hit perimeter, but default set alarm report. Do we want this alarm to go to the central station? Yes, we do. Chime, yes. I don't know why that clicked that. Supervision, yes, we do want to supervise so that if this sensor, if the battery goes dead in the sensor, the alarm panel will go into trouble and see that. All right, so that's basically it for the programming. What we want to do <clears throat> is hit save. If you click the back arrow, you'll lose all your programming. So we'll go back, out, allow installer to re enter programming. If you hit no, you will not go in back into this programming field. Hit yes. Now we can get out, and just to show you that it works, I'll hit settings and turn the chime on. So if I open the contact. Kitchen window. All right, so the system displays that. Kitchen window. And it'll say the zone um, zone number and what the device is. So now what we're going to do is we're going to um, install this on a kitchen window. So come with me. And this window we have is a little different than just an opening window. It's actually a window that we open with this here. So, because the door opens this way, we want to put the contact on this side so it, the sensor properly reads it. Now, the first thing you want to do when you're using double-sided tape is clean the surface. Because if you don't clean the surface, the contact will eventually fall off. Because it's dirty. Just take something wet. And I like prefer to mount it higher up so that you can't buy and mess it up. So I'm just using water in this case. You can use cleaner or anything and just clean the whole surface down. But just as important as you want it clean, we want it dry. So take another dry paper towel and make sure the surface is extremely dry because you don't it won't attach if the surface is wet. You can see there's some dirt coming up. We'll lock the window so you get a proper contact. Alright. So the next thing we're going to do is install our contact. 
we just basically, there's enough room to fit in here so our screen can close. And we're just going to put this up so that it's fairly easy. So, just remove the 3M tape that's already on here by from the factory. And just test where the magnet is. In this case, it goes on this side. But it, it will also work on this side, too. But we're going to put it on this side. Because it's designed to do that. So then we like to put our sensors kind of high up here. And just firmly push it into place. It's in. So now, take your magnet, which completes the circuit, and put this on the actual window. We put the sensor on the frame, but we want to put this on our... Um, All right, and just stick that up on the, on the window, push it in place, make sure everything's in place. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna test it, we'll unlock the window. Now you heard the panel beep and everything's good. So guys, I hope you found this video informative and I'll see you next time.